Um, that wouldn't be at all sexy, but that's what it would look like. It would look like sloth. Um, and yeah, just various things. It's kind of cool being in shows that people are watching. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a novel thing because usually oh, sure. I'm like, "Hey, I'm this lead character in this show that nobody's ever heard of," and everyone's like, "That's okay, great." Nice. And then they just smile and nod and go, "Okay." Pretty much. But now you're actually like, "Hey, I'm in that." Exactly. And I, I'm in that. I'm, I'm getting less of the people walking up with the autograph thing being like, "Who are you? Who are you? What do you do?" Like, you just stood in line for me half an hour. You tell me. <laughs> I don't say that, but I think it. I'm like. <clears throat> you know, I wonder sometimes that people, they, they, they don't, why are you standing in line if you don't know who the person you're standing in line for It seems is. like a big commitment, sight unseen, like, maybe maybe I'll luck out and it's someone cool. Like, no. No, I, you should know this. I wouldn't Do wait. Do a little research. I, I wouldn't wait in line for myself, and I know what I've been oh, in. come on. No, I'd, I'd wait for like 12 minutes and be like, this, I'm going to go to the game room. <laughs> I, no. <clears throat> I'm just being honest. Now, uh, thinking of. Gaming. Yes. Are you a gamer yourself? Yes. So, how fun is it to work on? Because you've worked on the video games too. It's it's a lot of fun. I mean, I I I played games ever since way back in the day. Like I remember right. Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I was like four. Yes. I was like, this is awesome with my joystick. Ah. Um, and then Nintendo came out. Things are never going to get better than this. And Super Nintendo came out. I'm like, oh my, things will, we could like launch a ship to the moon with this technology. Things are never going to look better than this. Look, the background moves at a slow rate than the foreground. They've got like parallax. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's a special thrill when I work on a game because that's, that's where I nerd out. Um, one of them, uh, uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, which wasn't based on a Michael Bay movie, so it was a good game. Um, and that was a thrill. I'm like, I get to be a Transformer, or in the GI Joe movie or game, I got to, I got to yell Cobra. So I was like, <laughs> let me just check that off the childhood checklist. Um, no, it's 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 an extra little woohoo when I get to do a game. Now, what are some of the video games that you've been up to? Yeah, a little, little uh, funky little indie game, uh, World of Warcraft. Yes, uh, I really hope some people start playing that. Really? You the know, servers are just empty. It's it's a sad, sad you know, situation. I might have heard something about it. Oh, I'm surprised. You must read. It must have been just a random. You must read the, the made, you must read the magazines or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Warcraft thing, they're not as like, oh my God, you played Garrosh, you played Arthas. Like, there's not that. But now with Italia, they're like, say something from Germany. I'm like, mein sticky friend. And they're like, ah! and they just lose it. And I'm like. I just said three words that out of context mean nothing. But then again, I mean, Todd, he'll walk into the room and be like, say it, say it, say it, say it. And he'll be like, BUSTA! And they just lose their minds. So it's, it's, I feel, I feel like Anakin Skywalker. I feel like I found these powers, like being able to say random words and people lose their minds. Like, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to like force grab people with like, mine sticky friend, mine sticky friend. Like, zzz, zzz. I don't know. I'm no. on a path. Now, you mentioned your students. Yes. You were uh, an English teacher prior. Yes. Right? Now, um, tell us a little bit about that, the, the, the change between the two. I mean, come on. How, how do you go between the two? <laughs> well, I um, I did like one or two voiceover things when I was living in L.A. the first time. Okay. And then I was broke and depressed and trying to be a screen actor, and that wasn't working. And I said, this is dumb. I am. I <laughs> wash my hands of this whole sordid affair. Going home. Uh, and actually, randomly, I was at a uh, musical theater audition in my hometown. Ran to a guy, and he was like, hey, I'm going to be teaching drama at uh, Notre Dame. They've got some spots open in the English department. You should apply. I'm like, well, yes, I do, because I have no job, and I'm in debt. Um, and it was, oddly enough, my Perfect. old, my old yeah. high school. So oh, wow. I, I ended up, it was a very welcome back Cotter kind of situation. I was 23, teaching at my old high school. Uh, and they gave me the seniors, and the seniors didn't know. The seniors figured it out by the end of the year by looking through old yearbooks. They're like, wait, Mr. Seitz, class of 96, wait a second. I'm like, wait, you're going to start disrespecting me now with like two weeks left of the school year? I wouldn't recommend it. Um, uh, I, I, can, I can fail you still. I, 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 when you fail a senior at a private school, yeah, oh, I know. there's some blowback on that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Um, <laughs> It was like the last Marines leaving Saigon one of those days. Like, the parents were coming in the front of the office, and I'm like, feet don't fail me now, as I lift the back. Um, it, it, but it was good. I mean, during those two years, I was getting the occasional voice work, so what I would do is school day would end. I would drive to L.A. as fast as I could, record for a couple hours. Or if it was something where it was like a big all-day thing, which generally wasn't because I was still new, then I would use a sick day. Right. Um, and then... Uh, 
after two years, I thought, you know, I, I don't know enough to be the guy in the room that knows more than anybody else. Right. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's go to grad school. I like, I like school. Let's go to grad school. So I did uh, grad school for, uh, for creative writing. Get two degrees in creative writing. That makes sense. Um, and then I was still doing the voiceover stuff, still doing the voiceover stuff. And then with about a quarter left on that degree is when um, I was given the opportunity to direct and adapt a full series. Okay. Uh, at which point I moved out to L.A. as fast as I could. And I was able to work it, so I was going to class one day a week. Managed to shoehorn all my necessary courses in there with some independent study. And my main screenwriting workshop was one day a week anyway. Um, and then the other four days a week I was, I was directing. Nice. Just so I could finish up, which was... Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Okay, what have I missed? Um, come on. Uh, oh, tell us about your adventures of Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy. It is. It's a Cinderella story of indie gaming. Um, it's this game. These two guys just made this game and they put it out there on Xbox Live and it sold a bajillion copies because it's good. It's not flashy. It's not high budget. They, you know, it was just these two dudes that made this insanely difficult, uh, like old school retro platformer. And I love it so much. Um, also because I got it for like 10 bucks. And I've gotten so many hours of, I don't know if I'd call it enjoyment, of, of grim satisfaction. Because when you first start the level, you're like, I, there, no, no human can do this. And then you die so many times over the course of that level that by the end of, by the time you finally finish it, the stuff in the beginning, you're like, boing, boing, I'm not even looking. I'm not <laughs> even looking. Boing, boing, I died. Um, there are all these levels, and you can beat them regular. You can beat them like extra fast to get an A plus. There's like the dark version, which is tougher. There's unlockable characters. It's just insanity. He knows what I'm talking about. Um, 